Hello, YouTube. I'm back again with another one. I'm gonna be talking about uh, a different topic today. One that I have kind of addressed in other videos, but I really just wanna do a, a good run through on this. It's something that I know a lot about. It's not about fragrances. It's not really about, it's not about cigars. Um, it's about the world of construction. I have been in the world of construction. <laughs> I don't know why my nose starts stopping up every time I get on camera, sorry. Uh, I'm out here in the park today, but I'm talking about the world of construction. The world of construction is a very different world uh, from a lot of nine to five jobs, a lot, even a lot of uh, entrepreneur, entrepreneurial jobs. And I've been in it my whole life. Uh, my family's been in it their whole life. Uh, my friends, etc., etc. But I'll be exposing some of the nasty truths about the construction world. Uh, and first, I'd like to start off with saying uh, this is the non union side of things. This is not, I'm not referring, I'm not talking about the union. You know, I'm not talking about uh, receiving pensions or anything like that. I'm just talking about, you know, you go out here, uh, you know, the majority of the crews you see out here working nowadays, not necessarily nowadays, but the majority of the crews you see out here working are not union. Uh, so, you know, I'm not putting the union down. Uh, I'm actually fixing to move to a union job, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, pay raise insurance, health, dental, eye, hearing, all that good stuff. And uh, I'm going to be going into why I'm doing that too. And a lot of the reasons why I'm doing that is because of a lot of issues with a lot of these smaller, uh, not even really companies, uh, just people that are, not, it's not contractors, not LLC, uh, sole proprietorships. That's really what a lot of these guys are. And a lot of these guys who are even LLCs or INCs, um, they aren't as legit as you would think they are just because they have LLC on the side of the truck or INC on their shirt t-shirts or side of their truck it really doesn't mean anything honestly and it's, it's kind of bad too I wish that there was more regulations on the on the construction side of things really and that's why you do have unions and that's the reason why that you know I know a lot of times people crap on the union but a lot of times while the union is good, the reason why they push towards uh, unions a lot and uh, to even try to unionize a lot of these, you know, smaller uh, independent private owned companies. And I know technically union is private owned, but I mean private owned, I mean like really private owned, like, you know, uh, your neighbor owns his own construction company, his own lawn care company, that type of thing. Uh, and first and foremost, I want to start out by saying uh, there's more than likely no insurance no health, no dental, uh, no accident, nothing like that. Uh, if they have general liability, that's about as far as the insurance that, you know, you're going to be covered on. And it's just kind of hard if something happens to you to really get them to cover that because first and foremost, they're not going to want to file a claim on their insurance or their liability or whatever they have going on. They're not going to want to file that on there. Um, even if they have workman's comp, they don't want to file it on there. Uh, because it looks bad on the company, looks, and then eventually they had to pay more. So, you know, they don't want to file you on that. If you do get hurt, you're usually, you know, SOL. You know, you're out of luck, really, when it comes to things like that. Uh, even if they do have workman's complex, so they don't want to file it. Uh, they'll offer you a pay raise before they will file it on workman's comp. And, you know, the thing is, if they're not paying their social security, your social security at the end of the year, um, you can turn right around and sue them for as much as you want, you know, uh, within reasonable bounds, of course, but you know, it, it's really kind of comes down to the thing of, am I really going to sue the guy because, you know, more than likely you're not making enough money to really be comfortable. And I'm going to be getting into that here in a second. Uh, and most of the time they're going to write you a 1099 at the end of the year. And just how it is, uh, you know, a lot of these, you know, working for cash type of deals are going away. And, and I hate it, and that, but that's just the world, the way the world's moving. You know, we kind of can't change it now, and, and I don't like it any more than the rest of you. I don't like paying taxes. I don't like to, you know, get out here and have to know that what the government, to let let the government know how much I'm making because it's not the government's business. I'm not out here drug dealing or tra trafficking humans, so it doesn't really matter. You know, I'm not doing anything, anything illegal. You know, if my boss wants to pay me, you know, let's say, 
$1,500 in cash, why should the government have any say so in it? I done the job I was supposed to, I done exactly what I was supposed to, so you know, leave me alone. But most of the time you're gonna be hit with a 1099. Now there are several ways you can go about that, you know, bringing uh, the amount you have to pay down at the end of the year, but it still sucks. It's something that, you know, you shouldn't have to deal with in today's modern era. You really shouldn't have to deal with it. It's, it's to the point to where, you know, a lot of people aren't even considering working for you if you're they're just going to write you a 1099 because it's so much easier just to, as as an employee just to be handed a w-2 and then take it to you you know <clears throat> you don't have to go back and forth and all that bull crap and you know hey you know at, you know tell your boss hey i need to get off early and you know taking hours out of your day to go do that stuff and um, the next thing is you know a lot of these guys they aren't paying enough i'm sorry they aren't paying enough they aren't paying their employees enough. They're not paying paying uh, their guys enough. They're, they're just really not. That you know, I, I worked for a guy. He paid the dude that helped us more uh, for a couple of days, and he paid me in those couple of days. And it really sucks. A little squirrel over here. <laughs> Anyways. It's really bothersome. It does come down to the point where it's bothersome. A lot of these dudes, you know, you out here grinding in the sun and you think that they care for you, care for you, but they really don't. And it's really bothersome. I ran into that incident uh, a while back. Uh, the dude I was working for, you know, I, I guess I let it on a little bit too much. Like that, you know, me and him were kind of in it together. We weren't, I was just, he was, uh, I was doing all the work and he was collecting the money. And, uh, you know, it got to the point to where he found out I was fixing to uh, go out on my own and have my own company, my own construction company. I had a lot of things lined up. That's why I bought the diesel. Uh, that's why I bought a lot of tools. And uh, he just stopped working me as much. I mean, I was only working two or three days a week. Uh, anytime I'd say, hey, you know, are we doing anything today? He'd say no. And I'd be like, okay, well, I'm going to go do this. He'd be like, uh, and then, you know, he'd wait about 10, 20 minutes and say, oh, uh, yeah, I have something for you to do. And I'm like, you know, it's not going to work that way. You know, you find out I'm making my own money and, uh, you know, you're you're making ways that I can't make my own money because, you know, you're getting jealous. Uh, <clears throat> and moreover, <clears throat> not only the 1099, like I said, they're not paying their guys enough. A lot of these dudes are pay paying the bare minimum. They are. They're paying their, their guys the bare minimum. And the reason why they're able to do that is because they're really they're they're finding these guys who are in need of the money, um, that have the correct skill sets, but don't have the access to the union. Now you know in the uh, in northern states and different states, uh, finding a union to get on with is pretty easy. But uh, here in Tennessee, it's it's kind of hard really to find a union besides the railroad, um, or I guess you consider the water company and. Uh, the city uh, union, but besides that, it's just it's really hard to get on or find a good union to crew to work with. Uh, you know, you're usually stuck with sole, propri sole proprietorships, as far as that goes, and, and it's difficult to work for those type of guys too. Like I said, because it's just so stressful, so aggravating. There's there's always something going on, and and really that's that's part of the ugly truth of the construction world is that you know the the majority of bosses suck. And that's just the way it is. A lot of bosses just want to be contractors, and you know, they want they want to you know let you stand around and then fuss at you for standing around and then cut your pay. But it's just it's not worth it. So that's why I'm going to a union job. I'm actually uh, going to the railroad. I've always done construction, so I don't see any reason to change now. Uh, getting better pay, a lot of more benefits. I don't have to worry about it. I can spend more time focusing on uh, fragrances and things such as that. But hope everyone has a good one.